Good night. Good evening, Evelyn. Good evening. How was your day? Good day. And you? Good. Because today is, today is Friday. I yes. don't worry about weekends. How about you? Sad. Um, like Friday. <laughs> For weekends. Teacher. Good evening. Hello, guys. How are you? Good evening. Good. How about you? I'm just great, just great, ready to start. Okay. Today is the last class, teacher? Yep. Today you Okay. Need. Okay. So we are having different activities today. Let me get this a little bit up. This is better. Okay, let's see, let's see who's around. So what, uh, Vladimir, how are you? How was your day? Good, teacher. Have a, a nice day today. And I'm happy because it's Friday. You know oh, that yeah. I don't work on weekends. You don't work on weekends? On weekends? Yes. That's cool. I mean, let me see. Me, uh, this weekend is going to be terrible for me. <laughs> really? Why, teacher? Uh, well, actually, I have a, tomorrow morning, I got a class. I have to go teach a class, a two-hour class. Then I come back and then I have a meeting uh, in the afternoon from 4 to 6 p.m. And then on Sunday, I need to prepare some reports uh, that I need to deliver uh, actually Sunday at night because that information has to be with my co-workers on Monday morning, first hour in the morning and first and Monday morning, I have to be on my job, on my other job, I have to go, so I cannot do it Monday. I need to work Sunday all day long because I need to check a lot of data. Uh, yes, on Sunday too. Do you remember the formats I told you I was working on? I need to fill those formats with information. Those are reports from let me see, one, two, we are in the third, three weeks now. And those reports are daily. I need to perform, I need to create, uh, let me see, reports from uh, nine, no, let's see, nine, seven, nine, eleven, eleven groups. Okay, per day I need to present 11 reports. 11 reports? What about this group? Per day. Per day. No, 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 no. That's from my other job. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry. So I have to present 11 reports times uh, 15. That means 11 por 15. Almost 155. No. Okay. That's what I have to prepare Sunday. Eso tengo que hacer el domingo. I have a lot of work, teacher. Yes, I have well, a lot and, of work and, for Sunday. And today, you must finish all the activities with this group, right? I need to close up this group tonight. And tonight? I have, yes, oh, yes. I need to present this information tonight. I have until midnight is my deadline. And right now, I am having a little bit of trouble because I have some people who has not finished the platform. Oh, sorry, teacher. Uh, well, that's going to be a problem. Let's see. Let's see if Elwa, if anyone of the here present. Let me check it out. Uh -huh. Okay, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, Evelyn. Wow, excellent. And uh, okay, I got the first one. I need to tell the names here. I got two, I got three, I got four, five. Let me check it out in the second page. I got six. 
six persons from the group have not finished the platform yet. Uh, really? Why don't you send yes. a private, private message? Actually, I will tell them here. The <laughs> okay. Because I need that the soonest possible. And we okay. also have to do the other activity. And let's see, let's see, let's see, because it's time already. Okay, guys, uh, let's see. Let me check Sonia. Sonia, I guess I got you in my blacklist right now, Sonia. Let me see from the ones present here. Okay. Hello? Okay. I think you're in my blacklist in this moment. Okay. Por qué? Let me just check. Sonia Mabella, so yes, you haven't finished the platform. The final exam is missing. Um, no, a mí me uh, falta. Al, al terminar, porque no pude durante todo el día. Es más, vengo llegando. Okay, Sonia. Uh, you will have to, because I will present the report tonight. Yo voy a mandar ese report I have until midnight. No, sí, terminando y lo hago. Okay, perfect. Let's see, let's see who else do I have in the same situation. Let me just check it out. Uh, Susana. Susana, you are missing the final exam. Also. Hi. También me debe el examen final in the platform. Ah, yo pensé que ese es el que vamos a hacer juntos. No, the explanation I did it yesterday. Ayer les di la explicación de eso, anoche. Ah, ah pues yo dejé el examen para hacerlo ahora. Hice lo demás. Yes. Menos la encuesta. Oh. Ok. La encuesta es la que vamos a hacer ahora. Ah, pues de otro ratito hago el examen. Sí, Perfect. porque sí, sí, entendí Easy. que era diferente. Okay. It's easy, very easy. Lo demás sí ya lo hice. Perfect, thank you. Let me okay. check who else of the present ones. Yeah, I got the two ladies. I got uh hmm, hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. Hello guys, how are you? How's everything? Let's see. I was talking with Vladimir. He tells me that. A good day because it's Friday and tomorrow he doesn't go to work. What about you, Sonia? How was your day? Tell me. Hello, I find a good day. I have a good day. A good day. Oh yeah, today yeah. you went to work. You went back to work, right? Yes. That's cool. Um, um authorize a uh, payment. Yes. Of bon bonus, sería, bonus? o incentivos. Oh, yes, bonuses. Uh, exacto. And follow that case. And only that. Um, so como today, digo, es que son muchas, muchos, uh, um, como muchos compañeros, muchos. Many, los que, many people. Ah, bueno, they are many people. Eh, que gana o que eh, debo revisar para bonos me uso el día. Oh, really? That's cool. Sí. Sí, son That's Excellent. Y me falta. Okay. Perfect. Well, it's good that you have. The, well, the good thing is that you like your job. Lo bueno es que está le gusta su trabajo. That's good. I mean, you enjoy it. You tell me that you enjoy it. Me comentaba que le gusta. So that's good. Yes. In my case, I was telling uh, Mr. Vladimir that I have to do. Mm -hmm. I have to do uh, tomorrow and Sunday a lot of work. But if there are reports and I have to create 155 reports on Sunday. Wow. And that's going to be crazy. Yes. Uh, Sunday for me is going to be horrible. Because in order to make the report, I need to be checking a lot of information.
from the cell phone because I've been getting the information there. So mm -hmm. it's going, I'm going to finish on Sunday, like. <laughs> Como mínimo. Yeah, that's the part, that's the part, the side of my job that I do not like. Es el lado del trabajo que no me gusta. Mm. Yeah. I mean, for me, this, um, to be with you guys, this is the easy part. Mm -hmm. it. But to get to this, there's a lot of job, a lot of work involved. Para llegar a este punto hay mucho trabajo involved. Mm -hmm. Because there are many processes that I have to, to fulfill before and after every class. Mm -hmm. So, well, I am glad that you had a good day. It's excellent. Thank you very much, Tania. Yeah. Okay. Edwin, hello, Edwin. Edwin is working. Yeah, it's Friday. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. What time did you check in today? Ooh. Uh, uh, three. At three? Forty, forty-five. Oh my gosh. And you are going to finish your shift? Y termina su turno? Uh, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Uh, es que debía horas. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so you are, oh, listen, listen, that's good. So you are making up time. Oh. Está resumiendo uh, tiempo. Making up yeah. time. Making up time. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's cool. I mean, whatever works for you. Look at Johnny. We got to do it. Yeah, no can can have, yeah, there's no other way around. Okay. Oh, that's another expression. Let me text it to you. There is no other. There's no. There is no other way. There's no other way. No other way. Yeah, you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. and tomorrow you got a you got a, an exam at the university, right? Or class? Yeah. <laughs> for so, or for hours, for class. One, uh, 1 p.m. at uh, 4 p.m. From 1 p.m. to 4 From p.m. So this weekend you are blessed. Está bendecido. <laughs> no, no queda de otra. <laughs> yeah, there is no other way. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. They are Thanks, teacher. Confirming me something. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio. Hi, teacher. Okay, Mauricio. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You owe me the final exam. Me debe el examen final. Yes. I need it today. Yes. Okay. I will. I will be waiting. I will be waiting after the class around eleven. I will check out. Eso a las once de la noche voy a revisar. Gracias. Okay. To, no, to give you to give time to everybody to to make it like slow with time. Para darles tiempo que lo hagan con yes, gracias. Con calma. And if you, you have too. if you have any doubt, you can text me. Y si tienen alguna duda, se comunican conmigo. The same goes okay. to Hugo. Hugo. In a minute, Vladimir. Hugo. Hello, Hugo. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hugo, you owe me the final exam also. Oh, sorry, teacher. Can you do it tonight? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Excellent. That's no problem, what I no want problem. to know. No problem. Excellent. No problem. Excellent. So let's see. Let's see. Vladimir, you were raising your hand. Please tell me. Yes, uh, but I, I don't know if I told you in Spanish. I'm sorry? I want to tell you in Spanish. Yes, tell me. La unidad 3 y 4 se repite hasta el pueblo de Weber en el examen para los que no lo han hecho. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I check it out. Okay. That uh, that there's one exercise that is repeated, but even if it's repeated, you have to do it. Hay un ejercicio que se repite, pero aún así lo hacemos de nuevo. Because I need to make a memo and a report after this class in order for them to fix it, para que me lo arreglen. 
okay, for next courses. So let's see, where was I? Who was I talking to? Let's see. Oh, there's Walter Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? Uh, maybe happy. Happy? Come yeah. on, man. How do you place maybe before happy? Uh, it's very confused. With... Oh, okay. Oh, that's something different. You are confused. Yeah. Because maybe. Uh, oh, come on, you are killing happy me. Happy and angry and... I don't know. Man, that's too many feelings for me. Yeah, that's too many feelings for me. Esos son demasiados sentimientos. I cannot understand that. So how was your day, Walter? Did you have a good day? Maybe. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, it's complicated. What did you do today? What did you do today? Mm. And say emails and... I don't remember that day more. It's crazy to stay. Configure mi nuevo teléfono. Okay, wow, you got a new cell phone? Yes. Okay, which model? Uh, it's 20. Okay, tell me its features. It's a Samsung. Okay, I want to know the features, its features. Características. Ah, uh, 8 gigas. Much? 8 gigas the RAM. Oh my gosh, that thing flies. 128 interno. 128. 128 inter. internal. Internal remember. Internal. Um, I don't remember more, but it's a good wow. phone. Yeah, a very it is. Oh. Eight gigs of RAM. Wow, that's and it's lot. free. <laughs> okay, and it's for free. Yeah. How come it is for free? It's a uh, corporate line corporate. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's excellent. Yes, very very oh, good. Now, nowadays they uh, they have become. Uh, tool. Ah, yes, it's a good page. Yes, GSM Arena. I always oh, compare it to the phones here. Okay, let me take a note of it. GSM. Okay, dot com. Oh, it's an S20. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's so cool. A okay, free phone. Well, when I grow up, I want to be like you. Cuando yo crezca, quiero ser así como. But I destroy the phone off. Maybe. I destroy in a P20 in Hawaii. You shouldn't be doing you that. You got, you got yeah. to be more careful. Well, it's yeah. good that you got a new phone. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Walter. Okay, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Evelyn, hello, Evelyn. How are you? Hello, teacher. Very fine. And you? I'm just great. How was your day? Uh, good day. I have a uh, review controls and... I check um, uh, some follow ups, topics, and someone um, solic uh, solicitudes. Uh, like what? Follow up uh, uh, requirements, requirements, deadlines, requirements. And uh, yeah, of, of deadlines and um, check guardias and um, uh, uh, check uh, 
quejas. Ok, complain. Sure. Uh, best. Supervision. Okay, Look at the chat, Ivania. Applications form. Application form. That's a solicitude. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, it was a good day. Thank you very much. Let's see who else is around. Sandra, hello, Sandra. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I have a good day. You had a good day? Okay, excellent. What did you do? Okay, so. I was, no sé cómo se pronuncia, revisando. I was reviewing. I was reviewing. checking. Reviewing or checking. Anyone. Cualquiera. Okay. I was checking my trámites, paperwork. No sé si se pronuncia. Yes, bien. paperwork. Perfect. Okay, so you had a very busy day. Okay, okay, don't worry, Sandra. We are going to continue with the activity. Yeah. Tengo problemas con la conexión. Everybody today is windy. Ahora se viento, so it's normal, it's normal. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, guys, let's see. We got different activities for today, but the first one is, for me, is to get the attendance. So, Amparo Yajaira Melendez de Molina, she's absent. Uh, Antonia Elizabeth Altamirano is absent. Claudia Guadalupe Alparo, she was here a few seconds ago. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Present teacher. Indiana de Jesús Obando, absent. Indiana María Doña Estrada, absent. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez. Where's in Ivania? Traffic. She... She's in traffic. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we hope she can connect later on. Karen Alejandra Flores López, absent. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez, absent. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Present. Thank you. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Está queriendo conectar, dice. <laughs> ok. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you, Walter. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. And Yanira del Carmen Paz Salazar. Okay, dokey. Ok, guys. Well. First of all, Present. Claudia, thank you. I was going to ask you. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Where's Vladimir? Vladimir, where are you? No, 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 don't worry, Vladimir. It's not you. Let's see. We're going to choose another volunteer. Vamos a coger otro voluntario. Okay. Vania, it's, your, it's your turn. Intro, please, introduce yourself. Okay. Just give, just give me a second that I need to be oh. taking notes. Okay, I'm ready. Sonia. Perfect. ¿Ya? Yep. Hola, ¿me escucha? Yes, I do. Hola, ¿Ya, ¿verdad? Bueno, ahí voy. Yes. Okay, ya. 
Good evening, my name is Sonia Lazo. I am 40 years old. I have two children, a girl and boy. She's 15 years old and my son 12 years old. Um, we live in San Salvador in a small house, uh, but has a living room. There is a dining room. There are four bedrooms. There is a um, kitchen. There is a patio. It has what need, we need. And I'm work here in Salvador. In, I am an operation manager. I am operation manager. And I have worked in the company for 19 years. And um, I have good teams. Um, how do you say uh, la mayoría? Of what? Perdón? Most of. Most of. Most most of them um, were with me uh, for many years. Um, I usually get up 6 a.m. I take my children to their father's house and I go to work. Uh, the, um, at the of my finish, my work, um return for them return for them and and we talk their day and their homeworks um then i have an english class um, on monday to friday we usually uh, go to the bed around 11 p.m and on weekend, we visit my parents and do different things. Um, That's it. I like to dance. Okay, okay. Continue, and only continue, that. Ah, oh, come on. Um, you were excited. I like to dance. My favorite, favorite music is salsa, cumbia, and bachata. But I listen to everything. And my favorite color is black. Um, only that. Okay, perfect, excellent. Great, okay. well done, well done. Okay, listen. Thank you. Listen, Sonia, your son is 12 years old. You dije, my son 12 my years son old. My son 12. Uh-huh, uh -huh. okay. your son is. Okay. Now, you work. You said, I work here. I work in here or I work at here. In here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And from Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Yo dije on Monday. On Monday right? to Friday, yes. Okay. Yes, from and, Monday. And the last one, you say we go to the we go to the bed. And that expression is we go to bed. In there. Exactly. We go okay. to bed. We don't say we go to the bed. Okay. Thank you. Yes, no problem. And let's see uh, with this expression. Oh, by the way, uh, you can take your kids to bed or you can put your kids to sleep. Okay. When it's about okay. your kids, you can say, I take my kids to bed, or you can say, I put them to sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, okay. The, with the first expression, I take my kids to bed, it applies just with your kids. If, if you're talking about uh, another person, uh, it means something different, okay? Puede significar algo okay. diferente. It's with the kids. Let's see, let's okay. see. Excellent. Excellent, Sonia. Very well done. Oh, you, you set the bar very high. Nos puso la barra muy alta. Let's see, let's see. Who's oh, going no, to ya next? vamos a escuchar a Vladimir a ver qué tal. <laughs> let's see who's next. 
Hey, oh, I saw you were raising your hand. I don't know if you were raising your hand or you were doing this. Hugo, wow. your turn. Please. Huh? My door teacher. Yeah, I saw you raising your hand. I don't know if you were fixing your that... cap or raising your hand. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Hugo Arevalo. Uh, I am 28 years old. I live in Armenia, Sonsonate. I work in company Kegel, CLT, uh, logistic and transportation company. I have been working for the company for uh, five years. I am the area of flood control. Uh, during the day, I prepare money reports uh, that the company requests. After my work, uh, I like go to the gym. I have uh, a family of five. I like okay. to spend the weekend with my team and with my girlfriend. My mom's name is Ana Maidel. My dad's name is Jose Uvarevalo. My oldest brother's name is Ron Eduardo. My younger brother is uh, Jonathan Fabricio. My sister's name is Jocelyn Arevalo. And my girlfriend's name is Jacqueline Dominguez. I like uh, I like go to for walk to the beach, 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 and the mountain on my day off. My favorite colors are black and white. I thank Professor Douglas for his patience during our class. Okay, perfect. Now let me check. Hugo. Cold, cold. Llamado, or llamada, cold. Now, okay. you like to go on walks or you like to take walks on the beach, okay? You can say, I like okay. to go on walks to the beach or you, the best way, lo más correcto sería, I like to take walks on the beach, okay? okay. Perfect. No, no, don't worry. You have never, in this class, nobody has never touched my patient. Nadie ha llegado a, not even close to the limit of my patient. Ni siquiera cerca al limit de mi paciente. So don't worry. This class has okay. been easy, cheesy. Esto ha sido facilísimo. Now let's see who's next volunteer. Thank, thank you, Mauricio. You are the volunteer. De verdad. Okay. Yep. <laughs> My name is Mauricio. I am 42 year olds. I work in the SAC, which is located in the Pan American Highway, kilometer, 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 10, kilometer, kilometer, 10 and a half, Santa Tecla La Libertad. And I hold the position of processing coordinator. I have a 15 year old son. Está bien dicho así. Yes, Tengo okay. un hijo de 15 años. Okay. I like the video games. You must. When I like to ride a bike with my son, I have been married for 17, 17 years. I have two brothers, younger brothers. I have two younger brothers than me. Okay, perfect. I hold the position. I hold the position, okay? I hold, now, I hold the position. The other is that uh, you say, oh, you say I am 42 year old. And it's I am 42 years old. All. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, guys, how do you hear me better? ¿Cómo me escuchan mejor? With this or with this one? The previous one. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. It's just that 
depending on the laptop, I am using another laptop. And depending on the laptop, I have to choose a different one. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Who's the next volunteer? Thank you, Susana. You are. Hello. Hi. Hello. So, this is the last class. Yep. Ay, sí. Me va a hacer falta verlos a todos. Okay. Hello. My name is Susana Hernandez. I am three years old. I live in Ciudad del Gap. I am married. I have four children. Ariana is 16 years. Christian is 14 years. Xavier is 12 years. And Jimena is nine years. We live with my mom. Her name is Carmen. I like animals and I have some at home. I work in pie laboratories for 13 years in the department of Maquila. My job is a seller manufacturing service. It's located in Colonia Escalón. I like music, watch movies, and sometimes read. I like the beach and know uh, places. I go to the market on Saturdays. I am studying English to have better opportunities. Okay, That's Susana. All. Let's see, let's see, Susana. Years old. Okay, years, years old. old. Yes, yes. You say that. And I like to know places. I like to know places. I like to know places. Okay. Now, you sell animals? Animals. I oh, like animals. animals. Okay, pets. Pets. Ah, okay, pets. Okay, pets. Mascotas. Yes. Okay, pets. pets. Oh, yeah, I was like, what's that? I couldn't get it. I like pets. Thank okay. you very much, Susana. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Edwin, is this a good time for you? Later, perfect, no problem, no problem. There's a... Una consulta, I have a question. Yes. Tell me, because I, because I say I like animals. I don't say I have a pet. Okay, it's I the like same? pet. I like pet. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's see who can be next volunteer. Hey, Mr. Ruiz, you are next. Tell me about yourself, Hello. please. Hello. My name is Walter Ruiz. I had 31 years old. I work on a CLT. I had four, no, six years of work in, in this company. My favorite color is, my favorite color are black and red. And I, in this moment, I have a pet, but I love the dots and cats. And my favorite music is and rock, um, anime music. And I usually read many novels, Asian novels. Um, and always work in night or for day. Okay. Let's see, Walter. I am the years old. Okay. Ah, okay. And you said I have. Now, I love, you said I love the dogs and cats. I love dogs and cats. <laughs> Just like that. I love dogs and cats. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let's see who else is raising your hand. Oh, thank you, Vanya. You are raising your hand. It's your turn. Welcome to the class. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my presentation. Okay. My name is Ivania Rodriguez. Um, I am 30 years old. I work at CLT, located in Sateos in La Libertad. I have almost nine years working with the company. And my occupation is customer service and email reports and seeing emails 
um, status the shipping company, uh, etc. Um, I live in Soyapango. And I like uh, listening to music. And I have a daughter uh, called Maria Fernanda. She is 10 years old. Um, in my free time, I like to rest at home. I love sleeping and watching TV. I like action and comedy movies. Only. Perfect. Excellent. Now listen, it is located at. It is located, it is at. located at. And uh, I like listening to music. Remember, always after the verb listen, you add the particle to. Okay, listening to music. Listen to the music. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Sandra, please, your turn. My name is Sandra. I live in my beautiful Santa Ana. I live with my parents, my brother, and my nephew. I am 31 years old. I study business administration. I like to listen to music. I like to know tourist places of our country. I like to go out with my family and my friends. I like a cat and I am a fire of dogs. I work in San Salvador. Okay. Touristic touristic places. Touristic places. Touristic places. And you are touristic. afraid. Afraid of dogs. Okay. Afraid. Afraid of dogs. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Evelyn, hello, Evelyn. Your turn, please. Good night, everybody. Good evening. I am Evelyn Caballero. I, am, I live in Bosques de la Paz in Ilopango. And uh, with my family, uh, two daughter, uh, uh, older Katy and younger Grecia, uh, and my husband. Uh, our house is small but cozy, and our neighborhood is uh, quiet and safe. Um, in this neighborhood, there are many uh, business, um, business of foods with delivery and all uh, styles of uh, business. And um, is complete. Uh, this, this place. And I work in El Salvador, in San Salvador, and I am occupator um, as assistant manager of inspections. And in my job, uh, I am control and supervision uh, all topics for this um, at, uh, this area um, works better. And my interesting, I I like music, uh, different tips or oh, tipos, different uh, uh, romantic uh, rock 
pop, English, Spanish, um, Saxo, um, piano, uh, different. And I like read, visit uh, the lake on the beach, and I like to. Oops. I'm losing you, Evelyn. Okay. You can stop it there, Evelyn. You can stop it there. Can you listen to me? Yes. Okay, Evelyn. Uh, when we refer to our kids, it's the oldest and the youngest. Okay? The oldest and the youngest. Now, uh, in your okay. in your uh, neighborhood, there are different types types of business and types yes. types. And in this case, you don't say my occupation is. You say in this specific case, you say I work as an assistant manager. Okay. I work as an um, assistant. Yes. I work as an assistant manager. And let me see, you can say that you like uh, different types or different kinds, okay? Excellent. Kind? Excellent. Kind. Kind. kind means also tipos. That word means different things. Kinds. Kind, yeah, it also means it's actually not tipos, it's classes. But it's also, uh, that little word also means uh, amable. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, uh, Ma Mauricio is a very oh, okay. kind person, okay? Mauricio is a very kind person. Oh. Una persona muy amable, okay? I, I search as uh, means for people, Personas cálidas, eh, encontraba warm. warm. Entonces, warm. Yes. no, no. Dis yeah, people can be warm. Y hay, um, no sé, uh, uh, the means, lo que yo quería decir. Yes, no, people can be warm. Las personas sí pueden ser warm. And she said cozy, oh. cozy. Cozy is... Uh, Acogedor. Cozy, acogedor. Yes, cozy, but we say it cozy. Excellent. Thank you very much. Well done. Well done. Let's see. Let's see. Who's missing? Quien me falta? Okay. Okay. Well, 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 well. Let's see. Guadalupe. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can you do yours, please? Yes. Um, my presentation, and my name is Guadalupe Alfaro. I'm uh, 12, six, uh, 12, seven old year, old years. I work in here El Salvador, and my position legal assistant. Um, I live on Highway Panamericana, kilometer um, 14, and in San Martin. My hobbies are read, romantics, uh, literature, and science fiction. And I play video games, and I love pets and animals because I'm Ovo lacto vegetari, and I love my family, two sisters, and my mom and my daddy. Also, I like learn language, and I I know um, a little a lot uh, the Fre the French. Um, I like play or online together my boyfriends 
I um, we we watch movies online, watch uh, anime online. Well, due to all online because he live in Mexico, um, and where um in my job um on mondays i wake up more um early um the hours because all um week the much traffic i check in at 8 hours and i check out uh, eight, eight, 18 hours um, and this now this day uh, check out five five no, five p.m or uh, five p.m and and, and music lover i listen to the music all the time and it's all okay perfect now let's see let's see let's see you like science fiction. I wrote that word in the chat, guys. Science fiction. Science. Le escribí Science. esa palabra porque ven ese pequeño guión que está ahí, separando esas dos palabras. Eh, uh -huh. Ese pequeño guión se llama hyphen. Ok. In this hyphen. specific case, cuando ese guión que une dos palabras, realmente están, esas dos palabras están unidas. By the, by the little hyphen, okay? Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, you like to learn, right? Guadalupe? Guadalupe? Where'd you go? Yes, 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 I like okay. to learn. And you speak a little bit of, you speak a little the bit French. of French. A little bit of oh. French. Ah, uh, oh. Yes. Oh. So you. in your case, instead of saying, uh, how are you? You can say, uh, como sale vous? Se bien? Ça va bien? Oui. <laughs> um, I parle en français un peu, mais je ne peux pratiquer pas uh, ce langage. Lang <laughs> Okay, well, je ne, je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas Franzon, uh, but in my case it's just a little bit. I speak more uh, Italian, actually, but I, I still get, I still get a few words. Let's see, something else. Uh, on Mondays I wake up earlier, earlier, okay? Earlier. Um, earlier yes Vladimir you can say sci-fi or you can say science fiction okay the correct one is science fiction but nowadays people say sci-fi okay you can use both now let's continue Claudia Claudia don't go don't go don't go uh, Claudia 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. okay uh -huh. and you don't say this day we say today okay today ah yes and today you have to say i am a music lover or you can just say i love music. and music lover or you can just say uh, i love music me encanta la música okay uh -huh. excellent very well very well very well <laughs> merci beaucoup huh? <laughs> okay, let's continue. Ah, oh, it's cool to remember some little things. Uh, as I told you, Claudia, I like I like French, but for me, the sound of French is like mm, I prefer Italian actually. La pronunciation. So, yes, tell me. Uh, la the pronunciation. No, the pronunciation. Yes. Uh, the, the problem for me with French is the pronunciation is 
hear. Agudo? ¿Cómo se dice agudo? Higher. It's, yeah, it's higher. I know. Okay. And besides that, it's here. You have mm. to use this part to pronounce many, many sounds that you get from French. I mean, phonetically, they are produced here. Uh -huh. Muchos de los yes. en francés se producen en la parte de atrás de la boca y la parte alta de la garganta. That's yes. Weird. <laughs> Es, es solamente de practicar, ¿no? Yeah, but as I tell you, I like it. I like the sound of it, but I prefer Italian. Well, thank mm. you very much. Thank you for you. To you. Okay, thank you. let's see. <laughs> well, no, no, no. That's a double thanks. Just you just say thank you or thanks to you. Okay. Okay. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Who's missing? Quien me falta? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Vanessa, are you here with me? I think she's still having the same problem as usual. What about you, Roxana? Roxana. Hi, teacher. You haven't done the activity, right? Please. Please Hi, Roxana. teacher. It's your turn. Hi. Hi. Me escucha. Yes. Es que se me está trabando el, la imagen y se queda como cortada. Lo que But I can, I can listen to you. Please introduce yourself. Okay. Good evening. Uh, my name is Roxana Trejos. I like go to the beach. I am married. I have two daughters, Gabriela and Jamila. Um, I love my family. I work in Sefinza in legal office. My work is called the client for the collect to Fondo Social para la Vivienda. My co-over is Sandra Moreno. Uh, my favorite color is black. My favorite food is Mexican food. Um, okay, I think I lost you. Creo que la perdí, but that's okay. Listen, I like to go to the beach. Co-worker, co-worker. My co-worker is Sandra Moreno and Mexican. Mexican. Okay, let's see. Vladimir, where are you? Where did you go? Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Well done. Hello, teacher. That's my turn. Yep. Okay. Good evening to everybody. Um, my name is Vladimir Antonio Martinez. I'm 47 years old. I'm married. I got to some, well, to, uh, my daughter, uh, her name is Pamela Sarai. She is 21. Um, my son, his name is Rodrigo Antonio. He is 15 years old. My wife's name is Nubia Gloria. She is 43 years old. I work at Banco Central de Reserva or Central Bank. I have been working there for 15 years. I am cybersecurity specialist and I prepare me for the next opportunity. I want to be a senior of cybersecurity because I was studying the master and English. That the skills that I need. Well, I started master MBA, master in business administration. 
at Universidad Francisco Gavidia. Um, what else? I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't dance. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, and um, I don't have favorite colors. I like to watch movies. I prefer movies from action. I like a lot of kind of music. I can hear you classical music, rancheras, chill out. I don't have uh, favorite music. Um, and what else, teacher? I like English since I was a child. I started English before at UCA in 1996, if I remember, almost 1995, 1996. I don't remember when. I started uh, until level eight. Um, then I, I like to hear music from the Beatles for learning English. I like to watch movies with captions for learn English too. I watch videos on YouTube for learn English, read, some, read, read a lot of articles in English. That's the way that I learn English. So the song, I encantado, what do you say? Pleasure. Loud, pleasure. I pleasure the right the the start aquí. What do you say? To be here. Uh, yes, because you can say it is a pleasure to me. It is a pleasure for me to be here. It is a pleasure for me to be here because this group. Or, or you can say I am pleased to be here. Okay, I am pleased to be here because this group is amazing. Uh, you're a good teacher and, and my partners talk English better than me. And I enjoy it. And thanks to everybody and thanks to you, teacher. Excellent. Thank you very much, Vladimir. Okay. I got you can say, I got two kids or I got two children, if they are small. No, they're, they're children. Okay, but you can say, I got two kids. Okay? Ah, okay. Because the proper way is offspring, but nobody uses it. Oh, um, well, but okay. for me, my daughter is my, <laughs> my children. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why. Okay, you like action movies. Okay. okay, action movies and okay. something for learning. For learning. Whenever you have the particle, I'm sorry, guys, I will switch into Spanish. Perdón, voy a explicar esto en español para que nos quede claro todos. Si utilizo la partícula for y después le pongo un verbo, ese verbo por obligación lo voy a poner en ing, aunque se va a entender en su forma natural, en su forma en base form en su forma infinitiva, for learning, para aprender, ¿ok? okay. Pero la regla, del, la regla del gerundio nos dice eso, que nosotros utilizamos para formar el gerundio, se utiliza un verbo en su presente, par, en su presente participio, ¿ok? El participio presente de los verbos se forma agregándoles la ing, o sea, un verbo en ing, ¿ok? Entonces, después de for, usted ponga un verbo, le pone ing, pero lo entiende en su forma base, simple. Para for, example, más fácil. For, for studying, para estudiar. Okay. For learning, para aprender. For listening, okay. para escuchar. Now, uh, and the last one, Vladimir, uh, your classmates speak. When you talk about a language, you don't talk a language. You do not talk English. You speak. Okay, you speak in English. Okay, yes. sorry. Cuando, cuando nos referimos a un lenguaje, no, we don't talk. Perdón, no se los puedo explicar en español porque este, talk es hablar y speak es hablar, pero en inglés, eh, you don't talk a language. Different. You speak okay. a language. Okay, you speak English, you speak Spanish, you speak French. Okay. 
but you don't okay. talk you don't talk spanish you don't talk english that is talk is for the call teacher talk we are talking no we are talking right now okay. okay just remember that you speak languages okay Okay, excellent, thanks. excellent. Very good activity, guys. I really like it. Si me gusta esta actividad. I'm just missing two more persons, but uh, we will wait a little bit. Let's see, I got Karen. Hello, Karen. I don't know if she's going to be able to do the activity. She's on a little situation. Uh, she commented to me, but I need to get the attendance. En dos minutos se nos va a conectar la persona de... Eh, el chico que nos va a ayudar en la cuestión técnica, les aclaro. Primero voy a dar una breve explicación. Me tienen paciencia con la explicación para que ustedes me hagan la, la evaluación cuando yo les diga por si surge alguna pregunta, porque hasta el último detalle, al final, necesito darles una indicación para que todos me lo hagan de la misma manera. Y les voy a presentar, voy a estarles compartiendo diferentes pantallas, ¿ok? Para que veamos cómo lo vamos a hacer. Ok, antes de eso necesito tomar asistencia. Oh my gosh, what was that? Ok, let's see. Amparo Yajaira, absent. Antonia Elizabeth, absent. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Present teacher. Thank you. Indiana de Jesús Obando, absent. Indiana Maria Doña, absent. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Alejandra Flores López. Okay. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Mauricio. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present teacher. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. Present. Uh, Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Thank you, Vanessa. Welcome. <laughs> Vladimir Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. And Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar, absent. So let me check it out. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's see. We are just waiting. Teacher. According to the teacher. program. Yes. Yes, Edwin. I'm ready. Okay, Edwin. I'm so sorry because right now we are going to do the evaluation, but later on, <laughs> más tardecito, después de la evaluación. Okay, teacher. Okay, well, the guy is not connected yet. Let's check it out. Please tell me who are the ones who are working on a computer? ¿Quiénes me están trabajando en computadora? Raise your hand, please. Hi. Okay, perfect. For the ones who are working in the computer, it's going to be a little bit easier. Para los que me están trabajando con computadora, va a ser un poquito más fácil. For the rest of you, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. That's why wait for me to finish. Perdón. Esta parte sí la voy a decir todo en español. Para los que estemos trabajando en computadora va a ser un poquito más fácil. Para los que trabajemos con, con teléfono va a ser un poquito más difícil, pero sí es posible hacerlo. Y les voy a ir explicando los pasos. Igual si hay alguna duda, ustedes me preguntan desde el tiempo. Para esto nos vamos a tomar el tiempo necesario para que salga bien, porque... Créame, por una cosita como un espacio, un paréntesis, para Infafor, ya es un error. ¿Ok? Ustedes recibieron el correo y creo que también en el WhatsApp recibieron el enlace. Eh, también les dieron los datos específicos de cada uno, ¿verdad? Porque ustedes necesitan el correo con el que ustedes se identificaron. El nombre tiene que ser completo según DUI, que es como lo tiene registrado eh, inglés corporativo y es como está registrado ante Infafor. Okay. Mayúscula o minúscula, teacher. Ok, ahorita vamos a ver el formato. Don't worry, don't worry. No se preocupe. En el filling in sería preferible mayúscula. Vaya, vamos a comenzar. Solo déjenme ver que... Uy, esta pantalla no la tienen que ver ustedes. I'm sorry. 
de que está un ministro. Me share if you want. Ok, no, 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 yo la voy a compartir, yo la voy a compartir, okay. no se preocupen. Ok, guys, let me start. Vamos a ver, vamos a comenzar. Ok. I'm sorry, disculpen que estoy utilizando mi WhatsApp. Ustedes recibí, ¿pueden verlo? Yep. Dice, le saludamos de parte de Inglés Corporativo, por medio, eh, bla, 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 encuesta. Ok, importante. Esto es un lineamiento de Insaport. Aunque no continuemos el siguiente módulo, siempre nos lo piden para que ellos le cierren a usted su grupo. Ok, le solicitan que al final llene la encuesta, la envíe la captura a este número, aunque sería preferible si me lo hacen al grupo. No lo vamos a mandar a ese número, sino al grupo directamente. Y al final les voy a mostrar cómo. Los datos como su nombre, email, número de celular y nombre de su empresa, tal cual como Insafor los tiene registrados, se le han enviado a su correo electrónico. Repito, los datos como su nombre, email, número de celular y nombre de su empresa, tal cual como Insafor los tiene registrados, se le han enviado a su correo electrónico. En esto, por favor, mucho cuidado. Esta frase es muy importante tal cual como Insafor los tiene registrados. ¿Ok? Los datos del curso. La orden de inicio, 26687-5930. Ok, en esta, por favor, yo les sugiero copiar, pegar. La sugerencia es copie, pegue, por favor. Nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. El nombre es completo desde la I mayúscula hasta... El paréntesis, nuevamente le recomiendo copiar, pegar. El nombre del curso, inglés principiante módulo 1, la fecha en que inició, 25 de enero, la fecha que finalizó, 19 de enero, y luego les aparece a ustedes el enlace. Vale, con esa información... Eh, perdón. Bien? ¿Sí? Sí, eh, solo con el nombre del curso, tienen que ir también con comillas. Ya les confirmo. Eh, con, es, con respecto al nombre del curso, Oscar, buenas noches. ¿Es necesaria las comillas o solamente inglés eh, principiante? Sí, es necesario las comillas. Muy amable, Oscar. Gracias. Ah, okay. Ya nos confirmaron que sí. Excelente. Continúo. Eh, luego ustedes, al, a, when you hit the... Cuando presionemos, toquemos el enlace, nos va a enviar a la encuesta. Todavía no entremos. Por favor, tengan un poquito de paciencia. Vamos a entrar a la encuesta y en la encuesta lo que nosotros vamos a ver es... Permítanme. Acá lo tengo. En la encuesta lo que sí. nosotros vamos a ver es esto. ¿Sí? Dígame. No, es un Google Form. Le diría. Ok. Vale, tenemos nosotros acá la encuesta de satisfacción de INC. Ok. Usted tiene el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y plecas será proporcionado por proveedor. Ese puede copiarlo y pegarlo. Es el que yo les mencionaba. Es este exactamente. Yo lo que hice fue copiarlo y pegarlo. Su nombre completo, según DUI, el correo electrónico que ustedes proveyeron para inglés corporativo, el número de celular que ustedes proveyeron, con el que ustedes se registraron, eh, sexo, masculino, femenino, el departamento de residencia, pues usted acá se le va a desplegar el listado, usted lo pone, ¿verdad? Luego el municipio de residencia, recordemos, todos estos campos son obligatorios. La empresa donde trabaja, según usted nos brindó el nombre de la empresa. Ahora, el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó, ustedes no les va a aparecer en inglés corporativo completamente desplegado, les aparecen aquí los diferentes proveedores y aquí simplemente usted va a seleccionar inglés corporativo, nombre del curso, inglés principiante, perdón, aclarábamos que esto va con comillas a inicio y con comillas al final. Ahora, ya esta información usted la va a poner de acuerdo como usted evalúa, ¿verdad? Si el tiempo empleado, el contenido, las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas, la fecha de inicio, allí la tenemos, igual la puede copiar y pegar, la fecha en que finalizó, o si no, usted la busca acá. Si en un momento necesitan que se la diga de nuevo, no hay problema, yo lo tengo a la mano. 
¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción? Esto es personal, ¿verdad? Mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés, comentarios, y luego usted le va a dar enviar. Ok, cuando lleguemos a ese momento a enviar, por favor, vamos a tener cuidadito, porque si usted le da a enviar, le va a aparecer esta imagen. Se las comparto también, que la tengo acá lista. Le va a aparecer a usted esta imagen. Le aparece gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado. Esta imagen, este es un alumno, un curso que yo tuve antes. Esta imagen llega hasta acá. Yo necesito que esa imagen ustedes me la compartan en el grupo y que me le ponga su nombre completo a la imagen, por favor. Su nombre completo se lo agregamos a la imagen. De esa manera yo puedo completar mi registro. Ok, por favor, podemos comenzar en este momento. ¿Alguna pregunta? Si no, igual, durante lo vayan llenando, con gusto les atiendo. Podemos hacerlo con calma. Recuérdense, copiemos y peguemos. Es más fácil así y evitamos equivocarnos. Teacher, una pregunta. Dígame. Hola. La, si por A o B, porque se me está descargando el celular, ¿no la puedo enviar ahora? ¿La fecha límite para enviarla? Pues nosotros necesitaríamos que nos la envíe ahora. Si no la puede enviar en este preciso instante, más tarde. Yo voy a estar conectado, ya les dije, hasta la hora que sea necesario que usted me lo mande. Hasta que usted me confirme. Ok. Por Perfecto, favor, recordemos, gracias. en lo que más cuidado tendremos es con orden de inicio. Por favor, es así, cópiela y péguela, porque el guión, la pleca, todo eso es requisito imprescindible, tal cual está allí. Teacher. Dígame. Eh, perdone, el, no sé si lo mencionó, yo no, no comprendí, pero cua, el campo que voy a llenar de nombre completo, por ejemplo, es en mayúsculas, minúsculas, ambas, o, sea, o, o, o cómo. Oscar, en el campo del nombre, entendería yo que mayúsculas trabajamos. Mayúsculo todo. Y de preferencia, por favor. Ok, gracias. Y como aparece según Dewey, recordemos eso, cómo aparece según Dewey. Así que el conocido como no aplica. Teacher, en el número de teléfono eh, se le pone guiones también, o solo así nomás. El número de teléfono le pone guiones si usted así lo verificó con nosotros. Oh, perdón, en el número no, no van guiones. No, todos juntos. Ya veré, sí, ya confirme. Y con el número de teléfono yo también. En el, el 503. Solo, exacto, el área 503 o solo el número. Solo el número, tal y cual lo dieron. Okay. El 503 no okay. es necesario. Ya. Si alguien tiene duda cuál fue el número que dio, pregúnteme. Este también lo tenemos registrado. Fecha de inicio del curso. En este instante, fecha de inicio, 25 de enero del 2021. Fin hoy, me imagino. Sí, 19, exacto. El correo, por favor, el que registraron con nosotros. Si alguien tiene duda cuál fue el correo que registró, avíseme, yo les confirmo. Yo lo tengo frente a mí. Yo tengo una duda. Con el, el nombre de la empresa, eh, no sé si lo habrá, realmente no envío los datos, sino que recursos humanos. Entonces, no sé si... 
habrá enviado GEA de El Salvador o Grupo Especializado de Asistencia, SADSB. No sé eh, en el caso suyo, le confirmo en este momento, Grupo Especializado de Asistencia de El Salvador, SADCB. Gracias. Y, eh, teacher, igual creo que nosotros tenemos esa duda. Si sí, estamos Déjeme como PDC Mauricio. comercial. No, usted uh -huh. está como DISAC, SADCB. Ah, ok. Y Teacher. me imagino que mis compañeras también. Teacher. Dígame. Eh, en el caso de nosotros, este, como CLT es abreviado, ¿verdad? Este, aparece, y también somos compañía de logística y transporte. Regáleme un segundo. No, eh, como de SAC, no, dice. Compañía, compañía de logística y transporte, SADCB. Sí, como de SAC dijo, ah, dice okay. que SADCB. Isaac, ¿cómo es SADCB, teacher? Teacher, mm, en mi caso, bien. disculpe, Erwin. <ríe> eh, en okay, mi caso, eh, el área que yo estoy se llama Intercept, es una compañía hermana. No sé cómo uh, aparece ahí. Intermodal Safe, Safe Control. Control. SADCB, Intermodal Safe Control. Ah. Gracias. ¿Alguien más? Indiana, no quiero ver. Tengo a Roxana en Sandra. Ustedes me aparecen como Héctor Armando Hernández Portillo. Susana me parece Grupo Pile SADCB. Hola, hola, teacher. Solo una preguntita. Dígame. Yo pregunté con recursos humanos y me dijeron que estábamos como PDC. Eh, pues el que ustedes registraron con nosotros, eh, perdón, uh -huh. uh, su nombre es Vanessa, ¿verdad? Sí. No. sí Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Sí, Quintanilla. Registrado ante nosotros están como DISAC SADCB. Como DISAC. Sí, sí, es el que yo tengo registrado. Ay. Entonces DISAC le vamos a poner. Sí, porque creo que lo de ustedes es un nuevo cambio, ¿verdad? Sí, sí es un nuevo cambio. El problema transición. va a ser que si hay, cre si hay facturación o crédito fiscal... Va a estar bien complicado Ajá. porque ya, ya solo PDC estamos recibiendo. Ah. Es una cuestión que va a ser entre ellos, no entre nosotros. Sí, pero el, el, cambio, el cambio de ustedes va para el nuevo módulo. En el próximo módulo sí. ya van a estar registrados con la nueva razón social. Con la nueva. Ah, ok. Gracias. Ya, ya nosotros ya estamos sabedores de eso. Ah, ok. Gracias. Perfecto. Es lo bueno que aquí nos están apoyando con toda esa información. ¿Tengo otra duda con lo los nombres de las empresas? Yo, yo. Dígame, dígame. Sonia. Sí, ya me había dicho cómo era que el grupo especializado solo y que es SADCB tiene los puntos. Ese punto sí. A, B, C, Ese punto B, o no a, los tiene. B, C, punto ah, va, okay, B. Ok, ok. Ah, va, ya sí lo dejé. Gracias. Perfecto. Recuérdense, según una razón social. Ya me puse en duda también, Sonia. <risa> eh, y, el, y el de CLT, sí, perdón, el de Compañía de Logística y Transporte. Ivania, déjeme solo un segundo, Ivania, que la busque. Compañía de Logística y Transporte SADCB. S.ADC.B. Compañía de Comparta Logística. mejor la pantalla de, la, de las empresas, hombre, teacher. Uy, lo siento. Teacher. Sí, lleva la coma. Por ahí sí, le envié mi imagen. Gracias. Teacher, por ahí le envié ya mi le digo, ya le digo, el, el screenshot. Ya, ya, ya le digo, ya le digo que estoy viendo en diferentes pantallas. Yo estoy dudando darle enviar. Pero le puse okay. el nombre abajo porque se me hizo difícil ponérselo así desde el celular. Susana, ok, perfecto. Susana Carolina del Tránsito Hernández, excelente, Susana. Walter Arana, veamos, lo tengo aquí identificado, muy bien, vamos bien. Quiero ver quién más me ha enviado. O oh, Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina, perfecto, igual el screenshot, el nombre, segundo vídeo, completito. Así como se lo envía está bien, aunque no vaya dentro del screenshot, se lo envía abajo sí. del screenshot. Sí, está okay. bien. Cualquier Excelente. cosita nuevamente con los nombres, dígamelo. No se los puedo compartir, pero sí se los puedo decir. ¿Y se repita la fecha de inicio del curso? ¿Perdón? La fecha de inicio del curso. Con gusto, con gusto, ya se la doy. La fecha de inicio fue 25 de enero de 2021. Okay.
Gracias, Mr. Ruiz. Recuérdense el screenshot con el nombre completito, ¿verdad? No me voy a poner solo Susana. Deme un segundito, Susana, deme un segundito. Solo terminamos esto y le ayudo. Les repito, si hay una duda antes de enviar... Puedo revisarles la información. Si tenían dudas con los nombres de empresa o algo, yo se los reviso y se los dicto. Igual DISAC tenía DISAC, coma, S.A de CB. Walter Arana tenía servicios y terminales S.A de CB. Correcto, teacher. Así es. Lo envié en servicios y terminales de CADC. Excelente, gracias, gracias. Vaya, esta encuesta, y esto sí les recuerdo, esta encuesta es auditada por el SAFOR. Ellos el día de mañana temprano comienzan a revisarnos. ¿Y qué quiere decir esto? De que si algo en la encuesta, dentro de la encuesta quedó mal, lo van a llamar a usted directamente se le va a llamar a usted y se le va a pedir que la llene de nuevo. Mejor hacerlo tranquilo, con paciencia, estar seguros de todo en esta ocasión y no tener que hacerla de nuevo. Porque créanme, han habido casos de que le, como ya el siguiente día, no, y porque yo ya la hice, estamos un poquito incómodos, nacemos de malas, ah, le toca hacerla tres, cuatro, cinco veces. Mejor ahorita tranquilo, nacemos despacio, si hay alguna duda, con gusto les apoyamos. La idea es evitarnos un dolor, evitarles a ustedes un dolor de cabeza más tarde. Nosotros es parte de nuestro trabajo, con gusto les ayudamos, les colaboramos. Pero es mejor que ustedes se lo eviten. Pichel, ¿quería la imagen solo con el nombre o hay que agregarle otro dato más? No, así como ve el envío está exacto. La imagen, okay. su nombre completo, excelente. Hubieran validado Dui más fácil de validar. <risa> Ya sí, pronto con la electrónica, estimado. Esa no la... En serio, no que... La, no la sí creamos se han complicado nosotros. los señores esto. ¿no? Sí, pero como el formulario es de ellos. El formulario es de ellos, créanme. Sí, ya créanme, lo envié, la teacher. La firma electrónica es mucho más fácil en muchas cosas. Veamos. Déjenme verificar cuántos tengo. Ya les digo... Ok, muy bien. Tengo confirmado acá Mauricio, Claudia, Edwin, Ed, Walter Ruiz, 4, Walter Alexander Arana, 5, Susana, 6, Vladimir, 7. Mm, me faltan algunos. Yo ya lo envié. No le ha... Ah, no, espérenme, es que me falta enviarle la imagen. Ahorita se lo envío. Ah, mmm. Solo eso me falta, solo eso. <risa> solo menos. Problema, no hay problema. Es lo bueno que podemos verificar acá y en este momento ayudarle. No se preocupe. Recuérdense, hay que darle a enviar a eso, porque si no, es como que no hizo nada. Y si no me lo envían a mí, igual, nosotros tenemos que contrastar dos listados. Entonces necesitamos tener ese registro acá. Si no, igual lo vamos a estar molestando. Mire, y usted me va a decir, sí, lo hice, pero no le envié el screenshot. Mm, se nos va a complicar. 
Okay, Walter Ruiz. Eh, ¿Todavía necesita la información, Mr. Ruiz? Ya, yeah, teacher. Repeat, teacher, please. ¿Todavía necesita la información? No, ya no. Ok, Thanks. perfecto. ¿Ya lo verificó? Yes. Excelente. Otros cursos de interés, teacher, es obligatorio. Todo lo que nos aparece ahí con un asterisco es obligatorio. Realmente siempre es bueno ponerle, porque eso les sirve a ellos para saber en qué otras áreas pueden informarle. Así que... Ajá, porque es la ahí. pregunta número 15. Ok. Sí, pongámosle, pongámosle, pongámosle. Si usted quiere computación, si usted quiere... No sé. En Safor tiene infinidad. Excel. Sí. El de Excel es muy bueno. Ayuda muchísimo. Hay muchísimos cursos. Sí, Evelyn, le confirmo, ya recibí el suyo. Sigo esperando. Sonia me dijo que ya lo había terminado, pero no lo tengo. Sonia, where did you go? ¿Qué se me hizo? Deme un momento que recibí una llamada del trabajo. Pero okay, ya está perfecto. lleno, ya se lo voy a mandar. Ok. Perfecto. Karen me dice que la va a comenzar a hacer. Cualquier duda, Karen, avíseme. Con gusto le ayudo. El primer literal me está hablando de orden de inicio, ¿verdad, Karen? Vaya, esa la tiene usted registrada. Ya se la comparto nuevamente. Solo denme un segundo. La orden de inicio la tenemos, Karen, en el WhatsApp y la tiene en el correo. Yo le recomiendo que la copie y, le pe y la pegue. Es esta, mire. Déjenme compartírsela de nuevo. Uh, yo le recomiendo que esto que está acá, que es la orden de inicio, la copie y la pegue porque tiene que ser exactamente como está acá, con guión, con pleca. Entonces, mejor copiarla, pegarla. Igual estos datos generales, yo le recomiendo copiarlos, pegarlos. Inglés corporativo, el nombre del curso, incluye las comillas. Perfecto, perfecto. Ya le ayudamos ahí a ella. Ok, déjeme ver. Susana me pidió que le dieran algo más. Me dio Susana, 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 Susana. Déjeme actualizar esto. Al resto solo tengamos un poquito de paciencia que me faltan un par. Yep, Susana. Thank you very much. Ok, 
Oh, Hugo, you finished it. Ya terminó. Gracias Hugo, gracias Ivania, Vanessa, excelente. Sonia Mabel, gracias. Vanessa, le envío un ya, chat acá ya. directo. Me lo revisa, porfa. Lo siento, Pablo. Hola, teacher. No me ha caído Hola. su WhatsApp. No, 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 chat aquí. En ah, Zoom, al chat. Ah, ok, ya lo reviso. Gracias. Oh, where is Hugo? Uh -huh. It's not there. Ok, meanwhile, mientras los otros me terminan, los que tengo todavía pendientes que me envíen, voy a, voy a mencionar de nuevo los que tengo que, los que ya tengo acá registrados, que ya me lo terminaron Sonia Mabel Lazo eh, Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Ivania Elizabeth Vanessa del Pilar eh, Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar Claudio Guadalupe Alfaro López Edwin Daniel Sevillano Walter José Ruiz Ayala, Walter Alexander Arana, Susana Carolina, en Vladimir Antonio. Tengo 12. Y en este momento tengo 15. Quiere decir que me faltan tres de ustedes. Ok, let's see. Quiero ver, me falta o no. I got Sandra, perfecto. ¿Qué más me falta? Me falta Karen que lo está realizando. ¿Qué más no me ha enviado, chicos? Ya me hice bola. Gracias, Karen. I'm just missing one. ¿Quién de ustedes me falta? ¿Alguien que no me ha enviado la captura todavía? Le repito quienes tengo acá la captura. Vladimir, Susana, Walter Arana, Walter Ruiz, Edwin, Guadalupe, Mauricio, Evelyn, Vanessa, Ivania, Hugo, Sonia, Sandra, Karen. ¿A quién no mencioné?
pues no me ubico. Teacher. Sí, tiene Claudia. dos veces Walter, tiene dos. No, es que tengo dos Walter, tengo Walter Arana y Walter Ruiz. Por eso es que le aparecen 16. Ah, oh. perdón, teacher. Walter, sí, sí, es que se me están descargando. Oh, se me está descargando y me conecté de otro, del otro celular, pero sorry, que thank por you, si se me you, desconecta uno, you. estoy en el otro. Thank sorry. Thank you. Sí, entonces ya sé quién es que no me ha enviado nada, que se me desconectó. Ok, guys, solo denme un segundo, le comunico a esta persona. Perfecto. Excelente. Ya le comunicamos. And let me close this. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see. Elwin, can you do it now? Okay, don't worry. I'll wait for you. No problem. No problem at all. Excellent. So, guys, let's see. Well, as far as I have seen today, your participation in the in the activity is cool and believe me i always take notes i've been checking out your little mistakes and okay i will need to stop to stop the oops i will start again okay well let's see let's see prepositions of place we need to analyze a little bit so let me share with you again the activity okay complete the conversations using a preposition from the box let's look at this preposition of places where is the park located it is located among many places i will explain this word in a minute voy a explicar esta palabra en un momento Where is the sport palace located? It is located on various streets in front of the park. In front, we know. Where is the mall, the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Where is the church? It's located past the school. Now, among, let's see, let's see. In my screen, in my pantalla, Mr. Mauricio Quintanilla is between 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 Sonia I got Sonia right here and Ivania so Mauricio is between that means that he's in the middle right he's between Sonia and Ivania the problem is that we in Spanish use the same word for two different situations okay la cuestión es que nosotros en español utilizamos la misma palabra para dos situaciones diferentes. Entre. ¿Ok? Between is specifically between two. ¿Ok? Between es específicamente entre dos. But sometimes in Spanish some people use entre when you want to refer to more. ¿Ok? Like Mauricio, it's among the, no, actually it's Ivania. Ivania is among the whole class. Ivania está entre toda la clase. Eh, sería en medio de, ¿ok? Pero igual, más de dos. Tiene que ser cuatro, cinco, seis. ¿Ok? Teacher. Yes. Uh, If uh, as um, the el redondel del dividido salvador del mundo, por ejemplo, mm. many street, 
around. Okay. okay, look, look, look at this. We are going to do it like this. You see the marker? The marker is between the pen. Okay, the marker is between the two pens. El marker está en medio o entre los dos lapiceros. Okay, now. Give me a second. I got a bunch of them. Okay. Right now, if you see, all of these are pens. Todos estos son lapiceros. The marker is among them. You see? The marker is among them. Está entre ellos. En medio de. The difference is between us. Entre o en medio de dos. Among es entre o en medio de varios. That's the only difference. Any question? ¿Sí me entendieron? Yes? Ok, cool. Now, let's see what other expression we have there. We have uh, near. Ok, near. Near is close. Near and close. Usually people use any of them. A veces las personas utilizan cualquiera de ellas. Close o near. Cerca. Cerca de. The only difference is this. That I mean. Um, you can use close when you refer to people. Like uh, uh, I can say that. Uh, uh, um, Mauricio. Is a good friend. He's, I am. Uh, he's very close to me. En este caso, estoy diciendo que él es un buen amigo, pero que él es un amigo cercano. We are talking about feelings, relationship. Okay. Estamos hablando de sentimientos, una relación. Así que se utiliza el close también para eso. Mientras que near is specifically distant. Okay. If I say Oh, Mauricio, it's a good person. He's very close to me. I'm talking about feelings, okay? Mauricio is near me. Mauricio está cerca de mí. Position, distance, space, okay? Ahí es como lo utilizamos. ¿Vamos bien? Yep. No. Me preocupa, algunos de ustedes casi no se me mueven y a veces pienso que están frozen. Yeah, you are, actually, you both are one of them. The three of you, I got Susana, Sonia and Mauricio. You managed to be... No, so no. Yo ya lo superé. Sometimes you don't even blink. A veces pareciera que ni parpadean. Yes, Evelyn, tell me. No. Hello, Evelyn. Um, when you say Mauricio, when you say I listen to me, I'm sorry, no le escuché bien. Hello, hello, I can hear you now. Ahora sí le escucho. Okay, <laughs> now, okay. When you say Mauricio is near, um, is me to me by me. How, how, be, how near, is, he is near to me, to me, si, if somebody is by no. me, oh, una persona, when no by me, por mi, una persona no puede, cerca por mi, no, a person cannot be, a place can be, Un lugar puede estar by another one. ¿Ok? Like, uh, do you remember the exercise we did with Mr. Donut? Oh, Mr. Donut is by uh, Salvador del Mundo. Do you remember? Uh, There's a Mr. Donut by Salvador del Mundo. Ahí sí puedo utilizar el by. But between people, uh, uh, I mean, we don't speak that way. No tiene sentido when we use it in English like that. 
Any other question? It's good, it's good. It's always no, good okay. when you have that type of questions. Otra preguntita, bueno, cuando me hacen esas preguntas. Because it clarifies for everybody. Okay, now, another thing that uh, it's there. Let's see. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. No le escuché. Uh, in the case close, uh, you say um, close to, to me. Uh, means. I'm sorry. Close to me and um, and, and two meanings. Two meanings. Yes. Close. Okay. A person can be close to me. Si una persona está close to me, puede ser as a position and as feeling relationship oh, okay. okay like in this course i had a good relationship with almost all of you tuve una muy buena relación con algunos de ustedes but with some of you because they connected before i talked more con algunos que se conectaban antes de la clase hablé más so i got closer to them ¿Entiendes? Lleg llegué yes. nos volvimos más cercanos because we talk more more personal, okay? Okay, now I need to share something else because this is important that we don't finish the course without it. Okay, look, we have here along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, under, along, along the way, okay. Along quiere decir Oh, mm, 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 mm. Como les along? Gosh, I know the idea and that word makes sense to me in English, but in Spanish is a little bit more complex to explain. Eh, veamos, past significa al pasar de. But when we use the other word, cuando nosotros utilizamos la palabra along, eh, literalmente sería a lo largo de. Ok. So, let's see. Galerías Escalón is along the way to eh, Beethoven Roundabout. Okay. Galería Escalón está along the way, está de camino a, o a lo largo de, la calle que nos lleva a, al redón del Más Ferrer, right? On Paseo General Escalón. But Galería Escalón, Galería Escalón is along the way to eh, Beethoven Roundabout. On Paseo General Escalón. ¿Se ¿Sí me entendieron la idea? Así es como usamos along. A lo largo de. ¿Ok? That would be the proper expression. El problema es que nosotros no la usamos así. Nosotros usamos más past. ¿Ok? Or after or on. Nosotros utilizamos más esas expresiones. Después de, al pasar o en, sobre, ok, you can use along for saying sobre, quizás esa sería la más cercana a nosotros, ok, like saying, Galería Ciscalón is along, Paseo General Escalón, on the way to uh, más, uh, Beethoven Roundabout, que está a lo largo del Paseo General Escalón. Is along the along Paseo General Escalón on the way to. That will make more sense to you. Creo que así tendría más sentido para ustedes. Do you want me to? I will type it to you. Better. Mejor se las escribo para que salgamos del the confusion. Okay, we say that. Galerías is along general escalón 
on the way from. Like this. Check it out, please. Revisen. I texted it in the chat. Can you see it? Okay, that's like the most closer to the way we think. Okay. And get the idea of it as when we say sobre. Imagínate que ahí está diciendo sobre. Okay. Now, guys, let's see. I would like you to. Me gustaría que you do on your own time, and this is personal, that you do the exercises for pages number 46, 47, and 48. And I would like you to do something, perhaps this coming week. Do the exercises on the manual. Send them to me so I can correct them and send you back a feedback. Así yo se los corrijo y les envío un feedback. If you send it to the group, it's going to be even better. That way I can send the feedback and everybody can uh, benefit from it. Así todos, pues, yo les envío un feedback y todos se benefician de él. So let's do that. Let me check the exercises that I would like you to do. Okay, and this is uh, like something like personal. I would like you to do it. Okay, let's see. Because these exercises, we didn't do them here because I mean, it's something that we have been doing all along, all along the course, a lo largo del curso. Okay, here you just place the some of these words here you have to choose now complete the following employees information about someone else here very simple this is something that we did when we were when you were telling me about your classmates do you remember esto ustedes lo hicieron cuando me dijeron de su compañero you were telling me the job position the workplace the name the department we were talking about the address of the workplace and I'm sorry that I asked you to bring them up, but we didn't have time to cover it. Then you have a vocabulary practice. You have to write sentences about the places around your workplace. Use preposition of place to describe their location. We deal this, but we did it in a different type of activity. Esto lo hicimos, but speaking, hablando en la clase. Now, this exercise, the final exercise, create a map of your workplace and describe which places are around it. Show it to a partner and explain where it is located using adjectives, prepositional place, and there is there are. We also did it here in the class. Este también hicimos. We did it a few days ago. Addresses and places. Complete the conversation with the correct prepositional place. He has a presentation at the meeting room. The exhibition is in San Miguel. Do you remember that we did it in the PowerPoint presentation? Este ejercicio lo hicimos en la PowerPoint. Now, there is, there are, my workplace. This, we did it speaking. Este también lo hicimos hablando. I mean, it's not that we didn't do the exercise. And I'm just showing it to you to clarify. Se los muestro para aclararles. No es que no hiciéramos los ejercicios but uh, I choose to do them speaking. Yo escogí que los hiciéramos hablando. And I will explain you now why. Y le voy a explicar por qué. The biggest problem in basic levels is to make people speak. El mayor problema and the biggest difficulty for basic levels es que los alumnos hablen. And that was my goal here. Esa fue más que todo mi meta, to make you speak. And that's what you did, to be speaking as much as possible. Si se dieron cuenta, nosotros pasábamos quizás la mitad de la clase solo speaking. And it was just a few minutes that you were writing. 
If I was not speaking to you, you were speaking among yourself or you were reporting information to me because that's what I wanted, you to lose the fear to speak in English. La meta era que ustedes perdieran el temor a hablar inglés. Okay? And that was amazing, teacher. I think, I think the goal it was achieved. Creo que la meta se completó because today I could tell that all of you did a perfect job. Todos me hicieron un trabajo perfecto. The only one who was missing was Edwin, but he's working. Pero él está trabajando. No problem, Edwin. Do something, Edwin. Please. On any free spot you got, record and send it to the group in the WhatsApp group. I will listen and I will correct it. Okay? Cuando tengo un espacio libre, grábenmelo en el WhatsApp group. Yo lo escucho y se lo corrijo ahí. Okay? No problem. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Excellent. Excellent. The idea is that everybody participate. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'll show you how you look to me. Le voy a mostrar cómo se ven para mí. So, if you can activate your cameras, los que puedan activarme la cámara, I will get a picture of the group. Let's see. Excellent. Excellent. Say cheese or say whiskey according to what you drink. Let me see. Oh, a little bit darker. Let me see if I can get it. Uh, no, sorry. Okay, I got everybody. Hello, Vanessa, you're back. I think the angle was not good, but I'll take another one so I can get you clearer because you actually look here. Perfect. Excellent. You got it. I got you guys. Hey, it's a nice talking for me. Thank you guys. Thank you, everybody. It was a pleasure for me to have you here in my group. Fue todo un placer para mí tenerlos. I hope to see you further on. Espero encontrármelos de nuevo. If not, got my number. You can text me anytime. Any topic, I can help you. It doesn't matter if I'm not your teacher no more. No importa si ya no están conmigo en la clase. Cualquier duda, con gusto les atiendo. Okay? Cuenten conmigo. I mean, for me, it's going to be a pleasure if you think of me and I can help you along. Thank you very much. You were an excellent group and it was a pretty nice experience for me. Be good. Take care. Have a good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks to you. Gracias a todos, compañeros. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. 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 Bye, take care. Thanks. Encantado de conocerlos a todos. Sí. Good night, good night. Un placer. Un placer. Un placer. Good night.